So first up is a record that I bought on the live streaming auction app, Whatnot. Uh, Millie Jackson's 1975 Still Caught Up on Spring Records. Um, other than the fact that the seller severely overgraded it and it was warped, um, it played fine. But it, this really isn't my thing, I decided. It's full of ballads. Um, it has a lot of slow jams, although it does have much more uh, soulful, deep soul type uh, songs on it. That's not the majority of the record. So this was a swing and a miss as far as I'm concerned, but for only 350, I can live with it. Next, also on the Whatnot app, I got this for free, 100% free. I won a giveaway. It's REM's 2016 reissue on 180 gram vinyl of Monster. Um, I have absolutely nothing bad to say about this one. Uh, you can see that was giveaway number 13. This was unopened. I loved this, this record when I was a kid. I had it on cassette and uh, I'm gonna like it now. I haven't opened it yet, but I have a lot of new music to get through, so it'll happen eventually. Next up are records I found at my uh, local library. Bob Dylan and the band's live 1974 release, Before the Flood. Gatefold. I got this for a buck. I wouldn't pay much more than that for a Bob Dylan record normally, but uh, having never heard this, I was surprised. I actually do like his voice on it, uh, particularly It Ain't Me Babe, which I found to be a fantastic rendition of it. Much different than the original, and also a lot different than the Johnny Thunders version that I'm most familiar with. Also at the library for a dollar. Charlie Parker's Bird, the Savoy Recordings, Master Takes. Uh, this is also a gatefold, 2LP. Um, this is probably a late 70s, early 80s pressing. It does have the barcode on it. Uh, jazz for me is more background music. I'm not a critical listener to it at all. It's not my favorite. Um, but there are elements of jazz that I do enjoy. So we'll see if this one has that in store for me. Also at the library for a dollar, the Dave Brubeck Quartet's Gone with the Wind and Time Out. So two records in a gay fold release. Uh, I am familiar with Time Out. I used to have it. I sold that on eBay some time ago. Um, this one originally released on CBS in 1975. This is a Columbia pressing of it. Um, again, I have heard it. I liked it, but I wouldn't go out and seek it. But for a dollar, how can I pass that up? Now, here's a more oddball record for my collection now. Also at the library, this for 50 cents, Stockhausen. Uh, the only thing I knew about Stockhausen is that Lou Reed had mentioned him in a in an interview he was doing. If I'm not mistaken, it was in reference to Metal Machine music. So I figured this was some type of weird avant-garde. I have not given this a listen to yet, um, but looking at the description on Discogs, it looks to be um, electronic uh, avant-garde music. And that was released in 1970. Um, another Stockhausen for 50 cents. Uh, this I know absolutely nothing about. Um, there's two, two versions of that. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Um, and on side B is a piano soloist. So I will give this a shot. I think this may be a cla classical interpretations of Stockhausen compositions. I recently stopped going to a thrift store that decided to price all of its records beyond belief. I will put a, um, a link to that uh, at the end of the video. But before their prices went insane, they had 
this, of which we are all familiar with, Switched On Bach, one of the greatest selling classical records of all time, um, by Wendy slash Walter Carlos. And it was 90 cents. So I had a copy already. So I've saved that from, uh, from the garbage. And here is a new record that I purchased at my favorite record store, uh, Moon Duo's Shadow of the Sun. This is a reissue of their 2015 release. Uh, Moon Duo is led by Ripley Johnson of Wooden Ships. Uh, and this group has been around for a long time. I want to say 11 or 12 years, so I'm late on that bandwagon. I really like it. Uh, there's... It's electronic, synthy, but with fuzzy guitars, lots of synth textures, lots of guitar effects. Uh, for me, it reminds me a lot of Suicide, uh, maybe elements of Hawkwind. Definitely there are rhythms there that remind me of the Velvet Underground, uh, but that's definitely my Lou Reed VU bias speaking. Um, but I really do like it, and I'll be giving more of their stuff uh, a listen in the near future as well. And at this same record store, I made two bargain bin purchases. The first of which, Rod Stewart's Every Picture Tells a Story. I'm a huge fan of Rod the Bod's first two or three albums. Uh, once he moved toward more pop disco-y, especially in the 80s, I, I couldn't stand his music, and I really didn't like it. Uh, I still don't like it, but his first two albums have that stonesy, bluesy, um, really classic British blues sound that I love. And lastly, this may come to you as a shock. <laughs> The Osmonds. This is a dollar, and I love bubblegum music, and you can't get better produced bubblegum music, R&B influenced bubblegum music especially, than the Osmonds. I was not going to bypass this for a dollar. Every time I'll do it. And if you haven't given their stuff a listen, for whatever your uh, your reason is, Make it a guilty pleasure. If you can find it cheap, which you can in the States anyway, in almost every bargain bin, pick up an Osmond's record, not Donny Osmond, but Osmond's, and give it a listen. Really fun. Uh, lots of R&B influenced bubblegum in there. I guess that's why I'm a superstar. <laughs> and the last things I got over this period, three cassettes. I got these for free. Uh, somebody on Reddit was offering free cassettes uh, for their some new releases from their label. Um, I shot them uh, a message and I said I'd love it. Uh, the first cassette got lost in the mail when I wrote back to him. Uh, he sent me back three. These are Dungeon Synth. The label is Voices of the Anur. It's a Canadian label and all three of these are 2022, uh, I want to say pressings, but 2022 releases. Uh, this is Envir, Victory Through Combat. And I know I'm going to pronounce this wrong. This is Leyland and Sylvanum. Okay, get ready for this. Ogaladremen Enoroth. I know I pronounced that wrong, but I don't mind embarrassing myself. And lastly, and this is my favorite among the three, this is De Rumpelwicht, Sirens of Orochmore. I'm actually going to do a review of these on their own, but I've heard Dungeon Synth on, uh, on the internet. I've never purchased Dungeon Synth. I like some of it. So I'm going to give these bad boys a review of their own, hopefully in the next week or so. Oh, so that's all I've got for you. These are my December through February music pickups. Peace.